What's going on, everyone? It's RGB Tech back again. Today, I'll be showing you how to unlock any iPhone passcode easily using Phone Tool Unlocker. Whether you've forgotten your iPhone passcode and can't get past the lock screen, or you're struggling with screen time restrictions preventing access to certain apps, or maybe you're locked out of your device because of an Apple ID issue, or even if you need to remove iTunes backup encryption to restore your data, this tool makes the entire unlocking process quick, simple, and hassle-free. All right, now simply click on Download. This tool is currently only available for Windows. Once the download is complete, install the setup file and follow the on-screen instructions to complete the installation. Once it's done, you'll be on the main interface where you'll see multiple unlocking options. In this video, I'll be showing you how to remove the iOS screen passcode. As you can see, even if I try to unlock my iPhone here, it won't unlock it's completely unavailable, and it's locked for 5 minutes. But don't worry, just click on the Remove Now option. Here, you need to connect your iPhone to your PC. The following tutorial is simple and easy to follow. This method works on iPhone 8 or later, as well as older models like iPhone 7, 7 Plus, and even iPhone 6 or earlier. You can also use it to unlock an iPad or even an iPod Touch. Now let's get started. First, power off your iPhone. Next, connect the USB cable to your computer. Press the volume up button, then volume down button. Hold down the power button and do not release it, even when the Apple logo appears. Keep holding it until you see the connect to iTunes or computer screen. Once that screen appears, release the power button. At this point, your iPhone is in DFU recovery mode. All right, as you can see, my device has been detected as iPhone 12. Before doing this, keep in mind, removing the screen passcode will erase all data, restoring your device to a brand new. Also make sure you must remember your Apple ID account to access your device after the restore, just like I'll show you. Now this method is useful in situations like, if your device is disabled due to multiple failed unlock attempts, Touch ID or Face ID is not working. You've forgotten your screen passcode. Now click on Next. Here, the latest firmware version 18.4 beta is available for download, but I don't recommend installing beta versions. Instead, choose the firmware file manually. Select iOS version 18.3.1, which is currently the stable release. You can download the file directly from here, or if you already have a firmware file stored on your local disk, you can use that as well. You can also find all kinds of firmware files for devices like iPhones, iPads, Macs, Apple Vision, and more from the official IPSW website. Now choose iPhone. Firmware is available starting from the latest iPhone 16e. Let me select my device. Here's my iPhone 12. As mentioned, iOS 18.3.1 is the latest signed version and you can download it from here. These IPSW files are used to restore your iPhone. Now select the local firmware. Here's the IPSW file, and it starts validating. Once the validation is complete, the firmware file is ready to install. Simply click on Remove Now, and the process will begin. This will take some time, around 10 minutes or more. Your iPhone will reboot multiple times during the process, so do not disconnect the cable. Now finally it's done. As you can see, the screen displays the message iPhone is locked to the owner. This means you need to enter the Apple ID associated with your iPhone to unlock it, as I mentioned earlier. Now here, you'll need to create a new iPhone passcode, which means the old passcode has been completely removed, along with all the data on the phone. But if you have a backup, there's nothing to worry about. And that's it! You can now easily remove your iPhone passcode and regain access. Just remember, this will erase all data, so a backup is recommended. Check out the link in the description to download the tool. If this was helpful, make sure to like, share, and subscribe.
Thanks for watching, and I'll see you in the next one.